Insta360 have just released their latest camera. It's the Ace Pro 2. And I've got it right here. I'm going to jump into a number of videos over the coming weeks, but today I'm going to go through the unboxing and an overview. Let's go. Today, I'm unboxing the much anticipated Insta360 Ace Pro 2, the latest in action camera tech that promises to set new standards for video quality, stabilization, and ease of use. It's been highly anticipated, and I can't wait to get stuck in using it. But for now, let's take a first look. So, right off the bat, the packaging is sleek and minimal, typical of Insta360's premium feel. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. And there it is, the Ace Pro 2. First impressions? It looks solid and compact, almost identical to its predecessor, but packed with new features. The build quality looks solid, but there's also good feel and texture from the body. And the only buttons are the record stop button and the power off button. With the battery axis on the opposite side, it has a larger screen at 2.5 inches, which again is flippable. It looks like Insta360 have stuck to their existing winning formula for this one. Now, let's set this aside for a moment and see what else we get. It looks like you're going to get more instructions online for this camera. So, we have the essentials. A USB-C charging cable. Some quick start guides, advice about waterproofing, and remember, you can now remove the lens cover on this, so these are important to know and to follow, I guess. Some stickers, I presume people use these. And finally, the usual warranty details. Now this is the dual battery bundle, so you get a second battery with this pack. The battery is now 1800 milliamp hours, which is seven watt hours, I believe. This should help stay recording for longer. Although, I'll have to test that out and will include it in future videos. Now next up is the standard magnetic mount system, which not only connects magnetically, but also has releasable clips to ensure that no mishaps can ever occur. We'll take a closer look at that in this video later. And finally, we have another mic cover. I believe this is for when you want to use the camera in damp conditions. You can remove the larger, new and improved mic cover, which has foam in it, so it doesn't fill up with water and take longer to dry out, which I think might be handy. And that's everything you get in the box. Now, back to the camera itself. So, let's take off these screen protectors. And there you have it, the impressive Leica Sumart 2.6 aspherical lens. This looks great. Now we can remove the screen protector from that larger rear flippy screen. And finally, let's remove the big red warning sticker from the base. And this also reveals the mounting points for that magnetic connector. Overall, the camera feels quite chunky. Its build quality does look very good, and it does seem a bit heavier than other action cams at first impression. This screen can be flipped fully up to show the user their face in selfie style or can be placed at any angle you wish, which I think is a great feature. I do wonder how many fingerprints I'll end up getting all over this glass though. Now the rugged build feels great in the hand and it's waterproof up to 39 feet, perfect for outdoor adventures. On the front, we've got that beautiful Leica Somarted lens paired with a 1.3 inch sensor. Now that's capable of shooting 8K video and 50 megapixel stills. It has all the usual ports. The small port is where you find your SD card slot and your fast charging USB slot. And on the opposite side, that's where you'll find your battery. And this is the second battery from the bundle pack. Now it looks like there's good weather sealing on both those also. Now here's that magnetic mounting system in action. It secures itself first and then it clips and adds a second layer and it doesn't look like this is coming off easily. So overall, I'm really excited because if you're capturing action after dark or in tricky lighting, this camera looks like it has you covered. And here's that new improved mic cover. I'm looking forward to see how that performs. Now it looks like Insta360 have focused on delivering unbeatable image quality, especially in low light conditions. The additional screen is also like its predecessor, not a video screen, but an instant glance setting screen. So you don't need to record video when the big screen flips, after all. 
If you're into diving, you've got the option to pick up a dive case that will allow you to be able to go as far as 196 feet. So it looks like Insta360 have done it again with the Ace Pro 2. Packed full of features, the same user-friendly interface that has come from its predecessor. Now you can remove that lens cover so you don't have to send the camera back to get it replaced if you accidentally scratch it. And it's going to be packed full of high quality features. 8K video is really exciting. I can't wait now to get stuck in, start using the features, going through the menus, and hopefully you can join me when I make that video coming soon to the channel. Now, there you have it, the Insta360 Ace Pro 2. I can't wait to put this into action. There's a lot of features in this and a lot of AI features, which I think are going to be very beneficial for photography. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment to follow on and see exactly how we turn out with this great camera. Thanks very much for watching. Stand the fall.